Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. The commands to configure a router to be a DNS client. The reason you would do this is if you want the router itself to be able to resolve FQDNs. So for example, from the router, maybe you want to ping Linux A from there, then you would need to set it up as a DNS client. Now you don't need to set the router up as a DNS client for DNS traffic to pass through it. This is only if you need the router itself to be able to resolve FQDNs to host names. So often we won't do that. Often when we're working on a router, we're always going to be working with IP addresses. But if you did want it to be able to resolve host names, the commands to enter are IP domain lookup to allow it to look up a DNS server, IP name server, and then the IP address of your DNS server, IP domain name, and then the primary domain name. And if you want it to also look up additional DNS suffixes, IP domain list, and then those additional suffixes. Okay, so that's how you configure it to be a DNS client. If you wanted a router to be your DNS server, then to configure that, you would enter those same commands, plus IP DNS server is a command that configures it as a DNS server. And then you would need to enter address records for everything that you want it to be able to resolve the command for that is IP host and then the host name and then the IP address of that host now you will not usually want a Cisco router to be a DNS server usually you would use an external Windows or Unix or Linux server to do that but it is capable of doing it okay those were the commands let's configure that in the lab next I'll have a look at the lab topology first. You can see I've got three routers, R1, R2, and R3. R1 has got IP address 10.10.10.1. R2 is 10.10.10.2. It's also got an interface of 10.10.20.2. And R3 is at 10.10.20.1. I'm going to configure R3 as the DNS server and I'm going to configure entries for all three routers on there so it will be able to resolve them and then we'll configure R1 as the DNS client. Okay, so I've got a window open for both routers. Let's configure the DNS server first, which was R3. I'll do a show IP interface brief just to check the IP address is right on there. Yeah, 10.10.20.1. That's going to be our DNS server. So the commands I'll enter first up IP domain lookup to enable it to use DNS. Oh, and I forgot to go to global configuration. So config T first to get to global configuration and then IP domain dash lookup should work. Next up is IP name server to configure where the DNS server is going to be. It's going to be itself, which is at 10.10.20.1. Then I'll configure the domain name. So IP domain dash name. And for this lab, I'll use flatbox.lab. Obviously, this is a different lab than the one I showed you with Windows because I'm doing it on my Cisco router now. And then the command to make this the DNS server is IP DNS server. So that's my basic DNS commands. Next up, I need to enter addresses for the host that I want to resolve. So the command for that is IP host. The first one is R1, which is at 10.10.10.1. Then next will be R2. I'll use command history for this. So I'll hit the up arrow to get that previous command back. And I'm going to edit this using the cursor keys to make it IP host R2 is at 10.10.10.2. Then the up arrow again. The next host is R3. And that is at 10.10.20.1. 
So that's how you do your host. I'll also enter these as FQDNs as well to show you how to do that. So IP host r onelabb is at 10.10.10.1 and then r2 is at 10.10.10.2. So I just used the up arrow again there and I'll edit this and make that r2.flatbox.lab in the correct IP address. And then the last one, IP host r3.flatbox.lab is at 10.10.20.1. So that's all the config that I need for my DNS server. Next up, let's configure R1 to be a DNS client. So I'll go in here, I'll go to global configuration and then IP domain dash lookup to allow it to use a DNS server, then IP name dash server to configure where the DNS server is. That's on R3, which is at 10.10.20.1 and then the DNS suffix, I'll say IP domain dash list flatbox.lab. And now if I'll use end to drop back down to the enable prompt and let's see if I can resolve host names now on R1. So I will try pinging R3 by its host name and I can see it's resolving it at the domain server at 10.10.20.1. It then resolved that and I can see that the success rate was five out of five. So that looks all good. Let's also try pinging R2. So this will also be resolved by the DNS server at 10.10.20.1 and it resolved that to 10.10.10.2 and I was able to ping that too. So that's how you configure DNS on your Cisco routers. Next up we'll have a look at ARP in the next lecture. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.